You guys ever looked at a superhero and thought, damn, this dude would be really good at basketball. Take for example, Green Lantern. The guy can make anything he wants using his damn imagination. Now apply that to a basketball scenario. Now he ends up being a coach's dream player. Dare I say he could end up being top five because the dude could be 6'3", 6'5", 6'7", 7'7", any height he needs. He's the perfect plug and play player of all time. And it's not just him in the DC universe who would be a monster at basketball. In fact, if I really wanted to, I could think of a starting line up from DC characters to play basketball. In fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Before we get into this, if you think this video is a good idea, go watch my last video, which is a Marvel version of the same thing. And now that we got that out the way, let's get into the rules of this whole thing. If I'm picking a character, it could be from the comics, it could be from the movies, it could be from any adaptation I want, but I will let you know if it's from a specific one. That's it, that's all the rules. But we are doing something different that I didn't do in the Marvel video. In this video, we're gonna have a coach. Just because I feel like the character fits the role perfectly for this team. As the coach of the team, we got in the superhero field, having no powers is perfectly fine. I'm sure he finds the work around all the time. I don't know why I said I'm sure. We see the nigga do it all the time, but in a basketball setting, this is like Isaiah Thomas being 5'9". There's not too much you can do besides having a whole team be built around you and hiding you in that defense. We can't do that all the time here, especially when other teams are gonna be pulling out niggas like Superman. And you can't have Kryptonite in your back pocket all the time, which is exactly why I think a coaching position would be perfect for Batman. He'd be able to use his smarts and not have to worry about getting dunked on by Martian Manhunter out of nowhere. And ultimately, I do think that this is where Batman is at his best, outsmarting niggas. I'm telling you right now, Mr. Wayne, Mr. Bruce Wayne would be out there out coaching everybody, making other teams look stupid. That nigga's running some zone you never heard of. The other team finna be asking their coach, how do we stop him? And the coach finna respond, nigga, I don't know. I've never seen some shit like this before. And now that we got the coaching situation settled, let's move on to our point guard. When it comes to the Flash in terms of basketball, if you need an example, think of maybe, I don't know, prime John Wall, but like, on crack, in terms of his scoring ability, that is. But that's not to say that his passing or defense isn't there. My thing is though, when you're that fast, are you really going to be looking to pass the ball when you can just run past them and get an easy layup like it's nothing? But speaking of defense, it, it's, it's pretty good actually. For what it is, I mean, he's only six foot even, 202 pounds. You know what, I was about to make some tangent about how he's not gonna be that good defensively, but I just thought about it. He has super speed. He's just gonna steal the ball from everybody. He's gonna average like 10 steals. You dribble the wrong way and he's definitely stealing it out of your hand, disrespectfully too. I feel like I've been talking about the flash for long enough though, so let's move on to our shooting guard. I'll be real, I'm not one of these YouTubers who come on here and lie and pretend to know what they're talking about all the time. I don't know shit about this guy. Outside of the fact that this nigga doesn't miss when he shoots, this guy's a blank slate to me. I don't know anything. I picked this dude up specifically just to be the Clay Thompson of the team. Get the ball, shoot it. Maybe play some defense. And I'm still being honest here. I don't even know if he could do that. But yeah, Deadshot's specifically here only for scoring, and I mean only for scoring. Michael Porter Jr. type shit. As soon as you get the ball, you pull it. I don't give a damn if you're at half court. You better hit that shit too. Moving on to our small forward. Now, Cyborg. This wasn't some random choice. Cyborg isn't some random. Cyborg isn't some stranger to playing team sports. Cyborg used to play football. Now, therein lies a little bit of a problem because if you've ever seen a football player play basketball, they play a little strong but in general cyborg is pretty smart he should be able to figure it out i see cyborg being the type of player where he doesn't have anything exactly that he excels at but he's good at everything he'll space the floor a little bit he'll go into the paint a little bit he'll get some rebounds he'll get some blocks at the end of the day he's gonna do his job and like i said before he was a football player and he was on the team titans so playing a role on a team is nothing new to him i think he'll be completely fine next up we got our power forward Okay, this one might mess with team chemistry, maybe just a little bit, but we're all adults here. I'm sure Batman could look past Bane breaking his back and killing his only father figure since his father died. And this is part two of me being real again. I don't know too much about Bane outside of him being smart and he's strong. So that nigga, 
How is he going to play? What is he going to do? He's going to play like a power forward. That's all I got for you. I'm sorry. What I can say is Batman is probably not running too many plays, if not any at all for him. Bane might actually end up requesting a trade now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm sure they could work it out before it comes to that, right? And since we're on the topic of team chemistry maybe not working too well, let's go on to the center. So yeah, Darkseid might be one of the... Uh, the more difficult players of all time to work with. Just difficult for no good reason. Dude what doesn't want to listen. You tell him, hey, let's run this play. He doesn't even run. Just says, fuck you. But on those rare occasions where he does actually play basketball, he's the best center in the league. The gap between the center next to him is crazy. He's the best center in the league by far. Those, those Omega Beans, I know he got crazy accuracy with him. That nigga can shoot a little bit, maybe like 40% from the three. And like I said with the Hulk in the last video, it's poster city every game if he feels like trying. All of this, and I haven't even mentioned the team chemistry yet. Uh, any hero, not gonna like him. The only person who would maybe like him on this team is Bane. And I don't know, man, I don't. Sheesh, is this just not going to be a very happy team, I'll tell you that. But I didn't put these sons of bitches together so they can like each other. I put these motherfuckers together so they can play some goddamn ball. And damn it, they finna play. And you know what? Since I like you, I'll do the six man for this team too. Beast Boy is like the perfect utility guy. Let's say our starting point guard, the Flash, is out. He's down with injury. You know he could put in the starting lineup because the Flash is down. Put Beast Boy in the starting lineup. Have him turn into a cheetah and do the same thing that you need the Flash to do. Move fast. Our power forward Bane's out? Turn that nigga into a gorilla and have him do the same shit as Bane. People don't even have to be out. I feel like he would just be a good spark plug off the bench. The only thing is, he would probably get on Dark Side's nerves really bad. I'm sure they could work it out though. But yeah, that's my DC starting five. If you agree with my team, leave a like, maybe even subscribe. If you disagree, let me know in the comments who you would replace. Stay safe, drink some water, and as always, have yourselves a damn good one.